Wycliffe Oparanya's game plan for 2022? That's the question which most Kenyans are currently asking. Because last week, Wycliffe Oparanya made a statement which caught the attention of the country. As we move nearer to the election, I think it is not tenable. It's not going to be tenable. Because you can't have, you know, a referendum is just like a general election. It, 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 the expenses involved are heavy. So you have another general election because everybody is voting. Then in, in another 12 months, you are now going for another election. I don't think with the debts we have, it is going to be tenable. Uh, uh, and today, William Ruto's team circulated some photos online. And because in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence, those photos were intended to achieve certain political objectives. And in those photos, you can clearly see that William Samoy Ruto had a strategy meeting with his team in one of his ranches in Masai Mara. And Wycliffe Oparanya was present in that particular meeting. So the question which Kenyans are asking, what is Wycliffe Oparanya's game plan for 2022? I want us to go into that particular meeting and study those particular photos and probably why Oparanya was present at that meeting. But before we do that, if you're watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two and click subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, Please want to continue thanking you guys for your support. And I want to request you today again. Give this video, this particular video, thumbs up. Now let us go straight to those photos. William Ruto's team circulated some photos online. And they observed three things from those photos. The first thing I observed was the presence of Rashid Echesa in those photos. It can't be coincidence that Rashid Echesa is present and Oparanya is present. It can't be. Because considering the, the relationship between Oparanya and Rashid Echesa, and the role Rashid Echesa is playing in William Ruto's team, definitely Oparanya is going to play a key role. Or is being persuaded to join William Samai Ruto's team. So that's the first thing I observed. The second thing I observed was the presence of Mwangi Kiunjuri in those photos. Mwangi Kiunjuri is one of the former cabinet secretaries who was very close to President Uru Mwangi Kenyatta. Even Wycliffe for Paranya has been very close to President Uhuru Mwangi Kenyatta. The mere fact that Mwangi Kiunjuri, a man who is considered to be capable of even being the running mate to the deputy president, was present there, basically means that probably these guys are working on a formation. Either Oparanya becoming the running mate and uh, Kiunjuri becoming the prime minister or Kiunjuri coming, becoming the, the running mate and Oparanya becoming the prime minister. And the third thing I observed was the presence of Metito Olekato. He was present in all those photos which were circulated. And you can clearly see that probably he was the host. He played host. Because in the photo where he's appearing with the deputy president, you could see him receiving the deputy president and escorting him. Again, in uh, the photo with him and uh, Oparanya, you can also clearly see that Ole Metito is also playing host. So I still don't understand the role Ole, Ole Metito is going to play around the deputy president, William Samaruto. But clearly, it's the guy who is going to play a key role around the deputy president. So two things also come to mind. What was the role of Oparanya at that meeting? That's the question. In my considered opinion, probably two. Number one, either Oparanya was representing Raila Amolo Dinga in that meeting. Because I was talking to someone and he was telling me that he doesn't believe that Oparanya can pull such kind of a thing without the approval of Raila Amolo Dinga. That probably he was representing Raila Amolo Dinga in that particular meeting because Oparanya plays a key role around Raila Amolo Dinga. Number two, Oparanya, there's a chance that Oparanya is joining William Samay Ruto camp. And that's why 
those photos were circulated. Because if they've been meeting and photos have not been shared, why were these particular photos shared? So probably they want to tell Kenyans that Oparanya is joining that particular camp. That's how I'm looking at it, two things. Either was representing Raila Odinga in that discussion. If not, Oparanya has decided to chart his own political path away from Raila Molo Odinga by joining William Samoy Arapoto. And that takes us back to something which again happened just this, this week. This week, there was that meeting of governors allied to Raila Molo Odinga somewhere in Nairobi. Why were these guys meeting? And in those meetings, Oparanya was not present. Was those meetings a reaction to this particular meeting? Because probably Raila Odinga and his team had realized that Oparanya was charting his own political path. And now what remains of Oparanya's presidential bid through the ODM party? Because in ODM, only two guys applied for the presidential ticket. That is Oparanya and Joho. Because ODM has insisted that so far Raila Odinga did not submit his application. What remains Oparanya's presidential bid? If indeed he started associating with William Samiroto. But let's focus on this particular meeting in Masai Mara. Why do you really think these guys met? Why do you think they met? In my view, only two main reasons why these guys met. Number one is 2022 formation. Let's face it. Next year, we are going to go for an election. And next year is not very far from now. So political formations are forming already. And more realignments are going to take shape moving forward. And the truth of the matter is that as things stand today, there are several other members of parliament, several cabinet secretaries, several governors who are willing to join William Samiroto. But they can't do that because they fear the reaction from the president and from the deep state. So Paranya meeting with Ruto is basically going to set the stage for some of these guys to also join William Ruto's camp. And the truth of the matter is that William Ruto has one big headache. The running mate. Who is likely to be William Ruto's running mate? And of course, if you look at the people who have been supporting William Samoy Ruto for a long time now, none of them has the ability and the capacity to qualify for a running mate or even prime minister. Especially if you look at Western Kenya. Because in Western Kenya, how many people were supporting him? Dilmas Baraza, Dan Wanyama, uh, Rashide Chesa, um, Waluke. You know, Oparanya now present central, I mean, now present William Ruto with the right person. He can choose as his running mate. So basically, these guys met here to discuss 2022 formation. I am sure when they met, William Ruto just told Oparanya, we would acquire prime minister, we would running mate. Number two, the second thing I know these guys discussed is the building bridges initiative process. And that's why last week Oparanya talked about BBI. That it's not going to be tenable to have a referendum this year. Oparanya has been one of the vocal supporters of the Building Bridges Initiative process. And from nowhere, Oparanya is now saying that it's not tenable. And of course, it's understandable. So basically, because he made those statements, and because they were meeting again, probably there's something Oparanya wanted to pass. And these guys know what they are doing. Oparanya was the immediate, or is the immediate chairperson of the Council of Governors. He's been playing a key role in the building Bridges Initiative campaigns. So basically, the BBI campaigns 
also took a center stage there. How are they going to thwart this building bridges initiative campaigns? I don't know what you think. But for me, that's how I'm looking at it. Until next time, bye-bye.